Hello and welcome back to KC Grandpa Tech, where we talk about tech, space, and much, much more. Hey guys, I gotta tell you, it's been an interesting week in the past two weeks about space. Um, I don't know if you, but I'm, I love watching meteor showers. And even more when we have some quite amazing events. I want to talk to you about meteors today. And something that happened <clears throat> last week. And that was that a meteor uh, came into the atmosphere um, and over 100 people saw it and over three states. Now, you may have heard about it. Um, as it blazed through the sky, it, caused an ex it exploded, causing a tremor and a sound shockwave that was heard all across Vermont, New York, and such. And it was incredible. 100 uh, wit eyewitnesses report that it was traveling at over 42,000 miles per hour. And that it was about the size of a bowling ball weighing about 10 pounds. Uh, that is an amazing, amazing thing. That such a small object traveling at such a... T um, um, traveling at such a speed... Okay, Can, would explode with the force of 440 sticks of dynamite. That is amazing. Let me just show you something. Now, well, just the week before that, uh, Apinos passed by. A very large asteroid about the size of the Eiffel Tower. Uh, and it made a near-Earth pass. And it was visible uh, by telescope to see it. Um... And its next time we'll be back will be April 13, 2029. We'll get back to that in a second. What makes this all interesting is there have been a high amount of asteroids that have been breaking the atmosphere that NASA hasn't detected. And they believe that there are parts of larger asteroids that have broken apart and have broken the atmosphere. And normally we don't actually, doesn't actually bother us. Um... But lately, we've been getting a lot, and they're making it all the way down to the, uh, right down to the Earth. Um, and that's been all very great and, great and fun, but like in Vermont, the sound wave rattled buildings, and it actually caused an Earth tremor. Now, some people are saying, um, that, and they're starting to do tests on this, that recently there's been an increase of seismic activity. And that seismic activity has coincided with now more and more volcanoes coming active. Right now, in the past week, we've gained 10 more volcanoes that have started erupting. There were up to 52. And some are saying that this is causing a change in the magnetic flux of the, <clears throat> of the planet's gravity. And it's attracting more and more and more of these asteroids to go off course and come in. As you know, an asteroid is made up of rock, uh, iron, nickel, and various other materials. So let's talk about that some more. Now the next major asteroid that will be passing by is known as 2001 F32. And it will pass on March 25th. First, and it's the largest known asteroid to date. It's approximately the size of the Golden Gate Bridge. That's 0.6 miles long. That's quite large. Now, that's exciting for you amateur um, astronomers who have your own telescopes who would like to take a picture of it. Like most asteroids, if, you, if you're an astronomer, like my daughter-in-law is, she takes her telescope out, and the asteroids, basically, they don't move. But this is also one of the fastest moving asteroids to date. So let me give you some more information about that. Now, I live in Jersey, so for me and my daughter-in-law to be able to watch this on March 21st, it's going to be a, a much easier to see. It'll be in the southern sky, and I put up uh, on the screen where it'll be if you between Sagittarius and Scorpius Scorpius haha and uh, it you'll be able to actually monitor its movement because 
every 10 minutes if you watch it'll let you'll actually be able to see it moving and not only that because of its size and because of its position you'll be able there'll be enough light refracted off it that you'll be able to see what's going on so that's an exciting star event okay and as we know also starting in the month of april and may we're going to is when we have i believe it's called it's sarkarsky um meteor shower and then there's another one so there'll be a lot of activity in the sky for all all of you uh people who love to sky watch or or use your telescopes now we, all of this has led me to one thing and that is we as you know there's been a huge move to get um to mars and as you know elon musk has been pushing um the chinese have been pushing israelis have been pushing uh, the uh, United immigrants have been, the United Arab immigrants have been pushing to create a settlement by Mars before 2026, and that's a lo lot of lot of a lot of questions as to why. You know, for many years we have not done anything with space travel, and suddenly there's a rush to get to Mars. That's incredible. But what is generating this? Now, a, a lot of things have been talked about, and one of these things, of course, is about asteroids and their close approach. So the two things you have to worry about asteroids and their close approach is, number one, do we know who they are? Number two, what is their size? We already saw that a small asteroid the size of a, of a bowling ball caused a tremendous amount of, of noise and tremors. Just imagine a larger one breaking the atmosphere uh and you know so nasa monitors these uh and they call they say that anything within 4600 miles of the earth is considered to be a close approach the other thing that makes these asteroids very interesting is some of them you can't even see uh they because of the, their composure and the way they're the way they're um made they, you can't even see them because the sunlight doesn't refract well off them. Uh, so, so that leaves a lot of worry by astronauts from what could happen if one of these should make contact with the Earth. The other thing is some of these asteroids are so large that they actually have little rocks running around them, which they call moons. So well, all this has led to me to one asteroid that I talked about and I said I would get back to, and that's Apronos known as the god of war which will arrive back on april 13 2029 and and they've have certain dates and that it'll be approaching but we're going to talk about that just a little bit more now i want to get back of course to apo this or, or the god of war asteroid okay one of the it's probably one of the eighteen thousand potentially hazardous asteroids that NASA monitors every year. On April 13, 2029, it will make another close approach. Now, it's approximately, they're saying that it approximately it will pass the Earth at 18,000 miles, which is about the, the altitude of some of our high satellites. But at the same time, to give you an idea, the, you know, the um, ISIS space station is at 230 miles. But that is give or take. We're talking quite a few years, and a lot, a lot of collisions, and a lot of things uh, can can change that gravitational fields. And as we were talking about, there seems to be a lot of activity with the Earth gravitational field changing with all these earthquakes occurring. So there is some concern, and some people have actually said that the chances of it making contact with the Earth or a piece of it breaking off and making contact with the Earth, uh, is about one in a hundred. Of course, they said the next chance would be in 2026, 2036, where the chances of it making collision to the Earth is one in 25. But these are things, these are interesting facts. And over the next month to two months, we'll be having a lot of meteor showers. Um, and we'll be seeing a lot more meteors breaking the atmosphere because of the changes in the 
magnetic field of the Earth, possibly bringing more of them in. Anyway, I hope this information has been helpful for you. This is KC from KC Grandpa Tech out. Uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It really means to me when you put comments in there. Uh, let me know how you like the content and where I could do better. So until next time, you have a great day.